Well, Leave campaigners have described his comments over the referendum as irrelevant. Others have accused him of meddling. Well, let's discuss this now with former advisor to George W. Bush, Pippa Malmgren, who joins us from our London newsroom. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Um, is President Obama right to make these comments at this time? Well, what's so interesting is the U.S. would normally never concede the level of sovereignty or permit the level of intervention of an a supranational organization like the EU. So it's sort of odd to see the U.S. weighing in so forcefully on this. And the other thing is it's a president who's on his way out. And I would argue he's more popular in Europe than he is in the States right now. So. And the average American doesn't even know what this issue is. If you asked a typical American, what do you think about Brexit? They would say, what? They don't even know what it is. So why is he weighing in on this then? Well, look, I think part of this is the Brexit vote, the pro-exit vote, is really an anti-establishment vote. And so the establishment, which is the Oval Office, uh, is responding by saying the status quo must be preserved. Um, but I'm not sure that that's right. I mean, the public wants to disrupt the status quo on many levels. They're not happy with what the status quo has delivered. Uh, so I'm not sure that it really will make a material difference to the voters in this country, whether the president likes Brexit or not. You know, as a former advisor to a serving president, would you say this is a good strategy to employ? Well, it's awkward because the other thing is that when Britain decided to be a, a founding member of the new Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, which is China's vehicle for investing internationally, and they said they wanted to put billions to work in the UK, the US said the UK should not have done that. And yet they want the UK to be one of the principal contributors to the financing of the EU because the only two countries that pay a positive balance in are Germany and the United Kingdom. So there's a bit of conflict in America's position. How does it work behind the scenes? Lots of people or some people are saying that his phrase, the phrase that he used, the UK would go to the back of the queue, yes. not the back of the line, which would be perhaps more uh, American phrasing. How does this work when it comes to how Downing Street could influence a speech that a US president is making? Well, I think that's precisely what's happened. Downing Street has basically said, do us a favor and just say a couple of words about why this is not a good idea. It's just designed to shore up the prime minister's position. But the bottom line is that the public in this country have not decided and they probably don't have enough facts. My own opinion is that Britain will be fine either way but the path will be very different if it's out than if it's in. But it's not like one direction is a disaster and the other is a guaranteed success. Both of them will result in a British economy and a British governance system that will work for the people of Britain. It'll just be very different. Mm. I, I should say a Downing Street source has dismissed um, any involvement in this speech, saying mm. that the president speaks for, his, for himself. Although um, there are some comments or some observers who say that White House staff would have been a bit uneasy about this. How would that feed back to him? Well, I think that's exactly right. I mean, whenever the president weighs in on, on domestic sovereign issues for other nations, there's always a bit of discomfort. And this is also awkward because, remember, Britain is America's closest defense and intelligence ally. Uh, so to weigh in on its domestic decision making is awkward. I mean, let's reverse it. If the prime minister made a comment about America negotiating in a free trade agreement, for example, like NAFTA, you know, Americans would be like, who is this guy? Why is he commenting on our situation? So it is slightly awkward. Mm, okay, Pippa Malgren, thank you so much for your views here on BBC Breakfast this morning. Thank you. Big Man Tyrone here. Make sure to subscribe to the Wicked Awesome Robin Hood UKIP YouTube website. He exposes the leftist crops on the British Brainwashing Corporation. <laughs> nice. <laughs>